Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heal vs. Babyface. As on the other monitor, I have Dr. Disrespect trying to defeat Radan in Elden Ring. <laughs> on this monitor, unfortunately, and I say unfortunately because of what we're going to go into, uh, we are graced with a clip of the upcoming Moon Knight series from Marvel. Now, I want to make one thing perfectly clear uh i don't know the character of moonlight i'm not a marvel guy i'm a dc guy that's where my sort of comic knowledge and comic uh love came from and uh over the course of the mcu i sort of moved it a, a little bit into marvel because of that although at the time marvel entertainment the actual creators of the comics uh decided that they'd rather uh get rid of all their Heroes kill off Iron Man, replace him with a 15 year old uh, narcissist uh, whose motivation to become Iron Heart or Iron Man in this case for a while uh, was the fact that her teacher was really nice to her and said that you can be anything that you want to be. Uh, but because uh, Riri Williams is black, I guess, in Marvel terms, uh, she has to be a victim of some sort. So she pestered her teacher into say, forcing her to come up with an obstacle. And her teacher went, okay, well, um, you'll never be Tony Stark. And she was like, right. So, you know, another one of those uh, <laughs> villain origin stories as opposed to heroic origin stories. They were mucking around with Kate Bishop uh, and not Hawkeye. Thor was uh, Lady Thor. Uh, Cancer Thor. <laughs> yeah, great stuff there. Uh, Captain America was a Yahtzee. Uh, all this kind of stuff. The comic just... just Marvel were completely mucking everything up. Anywho. Having met Gary a couple of years now, it's been two years since I've known Gary from Nerd Roddick. And of course, we have our real BBC, which we talk about pop culture and also comics as well. It's a, it's a sort of mixture of both. And uh, Gary has, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but he used to own a comic book shop. May do in the future as well. But he has an extensive knowledge of, of Marvel, and so he was always on, high, on hand to prov uh, provide uh, good Marvel knowledge. And uh, one character which he seemed to like was uh, Moon Knight. Now, we saw a recent trailer where he was all kind of punching the crap out of something, and uh, it seemed to follow some semblance of some story from what I can gather. As a person who likes superheroes, who doesn't know the source material, who doesn't know the character, I'm probably more of an audience, or, well, apart from the fact that I'm a straight white male, I'm probably more of an audience that Marvel wants than actual fans. Because actual fans, of course, know the source material, know the character better, and therefore can question it. I can't because I don't know. All I can do, crazily enough, is base my desire to watch the show from the trailers. Now, the first trailer looked okay. Looked all right. You know, I'm not saying it was mind-blowing or wow, 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 wow. I, th I thought it looked all right. I, I Based off the trailer, yeah, I'll, you know, give the first episode maybe a, a, a shot, see how it goes. But of course, we are dealing with Marvel and we are dealing with Disney as an entity, ultimately. And of course, uh, the recent track record hasn't been good as far as I'm concerned, uh, as, as far as quite a lot of my colleagues are concerned. My peers are concerned as well. I thought One Division started off really well and uh, then went to absolute garbage. Uh, about uh, five episodes in, suddenly... Uh, those wonderful little nuances that we had at the beginning, the black and white TV show, uh, the actual, what seemed to be relationship parity between Wanda and Vision was all gone, and it just turned into the Wanda Maximoff generic 
uh, and again, super villain origin story, which she was exonerated, I guess, of. She was allowed to walk away with no repercussions of her actions, which was absolutely obscene, terrible. Uh, no, in no particular order, we've had uh, Black Captain Falcon, America Winter Soldier, uh, 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 <laughs> Patriot, uh, and that was, uh, again, a terribly written show that was all over the place in terms of what it wanted to say. Loki, absolute and mitigated garbage, as far as I was concerned. Kang did it. Kang's responsible for everything. Hawkeye, I dipped after two episodes. I simply could not be bothered after what I'd seen. Uh, uh, but there is a, a thread. A th I probably even missed a show, you know. There is a thread which is coursing through all of these shows. Feminism, 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 feminism. And I don't mean feminism as in uh, let's treat women as we treat men. Let's treat the sexes as parity, both genders. Uh, no, uh, we're talking about uh, women are the greatest ever, man's are stupid, uh, and they are the butt of every joke. Every white male is evil. Every black person is a soulful saint. Uh, it's just, for want of a better phrase, so tiresome. And I know I've gone on a bit of an extended rant before I've even got to the freaking clip. But if we go to this clip now, watch Oscar Isaac, Ethan Hawke, and May Callamore in this new action-packed clip. No, let's just let's just rewrite this tweet. Watch May Callamore be the bestest ever. Well, there's a Manzel in distress. And uh, Ethan Hawke barely makes uh, an appearance in this new uh, action-packed clip. So this is what it's trying to do to sell me. To sell me on uh, watching this show. Now, I'm going to have to mute it. But, uh, yeah, we have uh, the Whammons talking to the man. She's saying, come on, we need to get out of here. Here, where's your suit? I don't have my suit. Apparently, there's, there's different personalities or something within and maybe sort of kind of I don't know. Uh, and so they've got to get out of there. So she's run. She's, of course, the, the lead. Uh, he's running behind because he's the he's the bitch. I mean, it's his show, but he's the bitch. But as... No, you see, you don't understand. Because of the different personalities, this personality is a little bit of a meeker personality. And, and, and therefore, it's a little bit more subservient, where he does have more dominating personalities. Well, this is what they're trying to sell to me. This is what they're trying to sell to me. That, that's why they don't want to sell to you who knew the sort who made me knows the source material better. No, this is what they're trying to sell to normies. This is the regular the regular Joes. Hey, regular Joes, come watch our show. There's a lady again for the fucking umpteenth freaking time in our shows in recent years running the show. While the Manzel in distress gets to run behind... The, the Manzel, who the show is named after, gets to run behind her. So she runs one way. A, a brief appearance by Ethan Hawke, who, who zaps, I guess, teleports one of his henchmen up there. I don't, know, something, I don't know quite what's going on. So the Manzel's got to run away into a different direction. But luckily, he runs in to see the woman kick the shit out of the man. Look at her beat the living shit out of somebody who's 80, 90 pounds heavier than her without any problems whatsoever. But just in case, folks, just in case you weren't super duper mega impressed with that vagina, when she runs past him, he says, that was awesome. <laughs> Look at the man child screaming at the, the trailer because there's a strong woman. He hates women. He no no. Do you know what I hate? I hate shit shows. That's what I hate. I hate f the same fucking pushed agenda 
time and time and time again. I hate the main character, if it's a male, playing second fiddle in his show to a woman all the fucking time now. Whether it be a Marvel TV show or a Marvel film, this, this trailer, as they run away now, this trailer has said to me, I, uh, okay, I don't, I don't need to watch this shit. Thank you, Marvel. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, you've managed to talk me out of the fucking cinema. I know this is a TV show, by the way. I'm using that as a metaphor. I know it's a very close metaphor, but, you know, just go with me on it. You know, they, they've talked me out of watching this because they said to me, this show is just going to be the same old ideological third wave feminist shite which we ram down your throats where the males are the secondary characters. Okay, enough. Enough. You've done all the damage that you need to do. Thank you for making me realize I don't have to waste my time on this bait and switch shit. But as you should have even realized this was going to be, I know, I know. But I still got to, it's, it's still as a YouTuber, my job, my responsibility to at least give it a crack. But after this, it's just like, uh, why, why bother? Why bother? I'd probably likely watch one episode and be like, yep, exactly what I thought. Fuck this bollocks. Oh, but as recently was talking about, you can't judge a series unless you watch it all. And he's judging a series based off the trailer. No, I'm judging. Yeah, I'm doing exactly what the trailer's meant to do. The trailer's meant to say, come watch the show. But the trailer has said to me, you don't need to watch it because it's just full of our typical ideological bollocks. So the trailer, I guess, has done its job properly. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.